The human brain is one of the most complex and poorly understood structures of the human anatomy. Thought you were an expert on the workings of your own brain? Well, here are a few interesting facts you may not know. Get ready to impress your friends and family with your brain full of knowledge about the brain. Let's start with our first fact. You may think this is a pretty bright idea. The brain uses the same amount of power as a 10 watt light bulb. That's right, your brain generates as much energy as a small light bulb, even when you're sleeping. Ever remember seeing a light bulb appear above the head of a cartoon when a great idea was about to happen? Turns out there was a link. And now onto fact number two. There are a range of different neurons in the body and not all of them are the same. The speed at which nerve impulses are transmitted along each type of neuron arranges from as slow as 0.5 meters per second to as fast as 120 meters per second. The speed at which nerve impulses are transmitted are influenced by many factors, including age, sex, certain medical conditions, and whether or not the neuron is myelinated, which means that the neuron is insulated by a protein and lipid layer that speed up nerve conduction. Are you still with me? Okay, good, because this next fact might be worth remembering. Fact number three is our attention spans are getting shorter. Yeah, that's right. 17 years ago, the average attention span was 12 seconds long. Today, the average attention span is eight seconds long. That kind of makes the attention span of humans even shorter than the famously short attention span of goldfish, which is on average nine seconds long. Fact number four may sound a little bit crazy, but it's true. A team of UK scientists found that just an hour and a half of sweating can shrink the brain as much as one year of aging. The good news is it's temporary. The sweating-related shrinkage, that is. No such luck on the age-related shrinking. We're still working on it. So how can we explain this? Well, the brain is composed of 80% water. This water is not stored, but consistently used for a range of functions and replaced at regular intervals. If we sweat this water out and do not replace it through adequate hydration, our brain can literally start to shrivel up. Okay, I've got a disclaimer. Our fifth fact is a little odd. In times where energy projection is sparse, brain cells can actually cannibalize themselves for energy in a desperate bid to ward off starvation. This phenomenon has been found to be stimulated when dieting. A 2011 study in cell metabolism found that if we don't eat, hunger-inducing neurons in the brain start to eat parts of themselves. This act of self-cannibalizing stimulates a hunger signal, which in turn prompts us to eat. So we're all potential cannibals. That's a little weird. Well, it may be about to get even weirder here with fact number six. Thought you only had one brain? Think again. We actually have a second brain contained within our intestines. This is referred to as our enteric nervous system. The enteric nervous system contains 100 million neurons and the gut bacteria within it are responsible for making more than 30 neurotransmitters, including dopamine and the happiness hormone, which is known as serotonin. The enteric nervous system extends from the esophagus to the anus. It functions independently, but is regulated by both the sympathetic fight or flight and parasympathetic rest and digest branches of our autonomic nervous system. So the phrase gut feeling finally makes sense. And now for fact number seven, where it's time for some myth busting. Have you ever come across the idea that we only use 10% of our brains? Well, unfortunately, this popular myth is inaccurate. Brain scans show that even when we're sleeping, we use most of our brain most of the time. It would be more accurate to say that the brain is a hugely complex organ and resultingly, we only understand how about 10% of it works. The percentage of our brains that we use is a great deal more than this. Last but certainly not least, fact number eight is all about pain, or more accurately, a lack of it. Although the brain acts as the processing center for the pain we experience if we, for example, cut our finger, the brain itself does not contain pain receptors, and so it cannot feel pain. So why do we get headaches? Well, although the brain does not contain pain receptors, the protective layers of connective tissue between the brain and the skull do contain them. These layers are known as the dura mater, the arachnoid mater, and the pia mater. If chemicals are released from the blood vessels surrounding the dura and pia mater, this can activate pain receptors, which causes a headache. Now we understand why neurosurgeons can perform operations on the brain without causing the patient discomfort, or in some cases, when the patient is awake. Do you know any cool facts about the brain? Share in the comments below! subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn everything about the anatomy and histology of your brain, check out our main website, kenhub.com. You'll find lots more videos and interactive quizzes, related articles and atlas sections that will help you learn everything about the human brain. See you next time.